Okay, our topic for today is all about arithmetic sequence. Pag-usapan ngayon natin ang ating arithmetic sequence. First, what is arithmetic sequence? It is a function whose domain is the finite set or the infinite set of numbers. Pag sinabing finite set, ito yung numbers o pattern na merong katapusan, merong limit or may hangganan yung pattern. While our infinite set of numbers, yung pattern of numbers natin ay walang katapusan. Okay? Magbigay muna tayo ng example para malaman natin kung ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin na arithmetic sequence. Una, ano nga ba ang ating arithmetic sequence? Kapag ang sequence natin ay nagdadagdag tayo o nagbabawas sa ating preceding term, ito ay tinatawag nating arithmetic sequence. Okay? Para mas malinaw, magbigay muna tayo ng example ng arithmetic sequence. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, and so on. Okay? For example, we're going to find the next term. Okay? Ito yung ating sequence or pattern. 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Ito ay tinatawag nating arithmetic sequence. Bakit? Kung mapapansin natin ang pattern, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, nagdadagdag tayo ng, ng ilan? Tama. Nagdadagdag tayo ng tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, the pattern is add 3 to the preceding term. Ito ang ating preceding term. Ang ating preceding term ay yung unahan sa ating uh, sequence. Ito yung tinatawag nating first term or a sub 1. Okay, now, since nagdadagdag tayo ng tatlo, yung ating pagdadagdag na yun, yun ay yung ating tinatawag na common difference. Therefore, our common difference here is 3. Tayo yung nagdadagdag. Okay? We don't need to include plus 3 because automatic, if we have 3, that is positive 3. Okay, now, since our common difference here is 3, we're going to find the next term. 14, we have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Our next term is 14 plus 3, that is 17. Okay, therefore, the next term is 17. Okay, now, how about if the given sequence is 15, 11, 7, 3, and so on? Okay, we're going to find the next term. Okay, kapag ganito naman ang ating arithmetic sequence, kung mapapansin natin sa, sa ating pattern, ano ang nangyari? 15, naging 11, naging 7, naging 3. Okay, anong ginawa natin doon? Sa ating pattern, tayo ay nagbabawas ng apat. So meaning, we're going to minus 4 or subtract 4 Ayan, subtract 4. Ayan, nagbabawas tayo ng 4 sa ating preceding term. Ito yung ating preceding term, 15 minus 4, naging 11. 11 minus 4, 7. 7 minus 4, 3. Okay? Kapag itinuloy natin, makukuha natin yung ating next term. 3 minus 4, that is negative 1. Okay? Therefore, ito yung ating next term. Okay. Now, ano yung ating common difference dito? Since sabi ko nga, ang ating arithmetic sequence, ito ay yung sequence na kung saan tayo ay nagdadagdag o nagbabawas. Ngayon tayo ay nagba nagbabawas ng apat. Meaning, we're going to include the negative sign. Our common difference here is negative 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Okay, now we are going to answer this question in this arithmetic sequence. What is the next pattern? What is the next pattern? Okay, now, as we can see here, what is the next pattern? We have square triangle. Square triangle, square triangle, triangle. We have two triangles here. One square, three triangles. I'll repeat. Square, triangle. Square, two triangles. Square, three triangles. What is the next pattern? Meaning to say, we have square, 
After three triangles, we have four triangles. Therefore, the answer or the next pattern is one square, four triangles. Okay, paano naman natin sagutin ang ganitong condition? Letter A, what is the next number? Letter B, what is the tenth number? Okay, we're going to refer from this sequence or pattern. 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16. Okay, letter A question, what is the next number? Okay, as we can see here from the given sequence or pattern, 0, 4, 8, 12, 16. Nagdadagdag tayo ng apat. At ang common difference natin dito ay 4. Since kung tayo nagdadagdag ng apat, what is the next number? 16. Okay, nagdadagdag tayo ng apat. Okay, 16 plus 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. Therefore, the next number is 20. Okay, next. How about what is the tenth number? Ano daw yung pang sampo? Okay, bibilangin muna natin kung pang ilan yung given pattern natin. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ang 20 ay pang anin. Ay dadagdagan pa natin ng 4 para makuha natin yung pang sampo. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, anin, 7, 8, siyam, 10. Okay, itutuloy natin. 20 kanina, sabi natin ang ating Common difference ay 4, 20 plus 4, that is 24, plus 4, 28, 28 plus 4, 32, 32 plus 4 is 36. Okay, therefore, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Our 10th number is 36. Okay, now, we're going to answer the following conditions. Okay, our first condition, write the next three terms of the following sequence or pattern from the given condition. Okay, number one, a sub one equals five. Common difference is two. Take note, our a sub one, meaning this is our first term. Or, this is, a sub one is equivalent to first term. Okay, number one, a sub one is five. Common difference is two. Okay, now we're going to write the next three terms of the following sequence. Okay, a sub 1, we have a sub 1 is 5, common difference is 2. Okay, 5 plus 2, that is 7. 7 plus 2, that is 9. 9 plus 2, that is 11. Okay, this is our next three terms. Okay, next, how about given number 2? A sub 1 is 6. Common difference is 3. Okay, 6 plus 3 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. Therefore, this is our next three terms. But take note, our A sub 1 here, our first term is 6. In given number 1, our first term is 5. Okay, next number 3, a sub 1 equals 30. Our common difference is negative 4. Mababawas tayo ng apat. 30 minus 4 is 26. 26 minus 4 is 22. 22 minus 4 is... 22 minus 4 is 18. Okay, therefore, the next three terms are 26, 22, and 18. Next, number four. Take note, our a sub 1, our first term, is 47, and our common difference here is negative 7. Magbabawas tayo ng ito. Okay, 47 minus 7 is 40. 40 minus 7 is 33. 33 minus 7 is 26. Okay, therefore, the three next terms, the next three terms are 40, 33, and 26. Okay, ang sunod naman ay we're going to find the common difference of the following sequence. Okay, ito yung ating sequence. Meron tayong tatlong example. Number 1, 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 
and so on. Okay, I'll repeat. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and so on. Okay, we're going to determine the value of common difference. Okay, what is the value of common difference? Okay, since nagdadagdag tayo ng tatlo sa ating preceding term, therefore, our common difference in number 1 is 3. Okay, how about number 2? 5, 11, 17, 23, 29. Nagdadagdag naman tayo ng Amin. Correct. Okay. Therefore, our common difference is 6. Next, number 3. 28, 23, 18, 13, 8, 3. Ano naman ang ating common difference? Yan. Kung mapapansin natin, nagbabawas naman tayo. Kasi pababa yung ating sequence. That is decreasing. 28, naging 23, naging 18, naging 13, okay, naging 8, naging 3. Nagbabawas tayo ng 5. Therefore, our common difference here is negative 5. Okay, paano naman ang ganitong condition? Okay, we have condition number 3. Find the n term of the following. Ito yung ating sequence. Okay, una, yung number 1. Okay, 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25. We're going to find the 38th term. Okay, yung pang, the, pang uh, tatlong pong term. Okay, ito yung ating 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, ang kinukuha natin ay yung pang tatlong po. So, meaning to say the 30th term. Okay, since this is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, we're going to find the value of a sub 30. Okay, now, in this case, we're going to apply now the general formula of arithmetic sequence. What is this? Okay, that is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times common difference. Okay, we're going to solve and calculate this sequence. 5, 9, 13, 17, 21, 25. Okay, we're going to find the a sub 30. Okay, since a sub n, a sub 30, meaning to say the value of n is 30. Our a sub 1, the first term, that is 5. Plus, our end value is this one, 30 minus 1. Our common difference here, okay, our pattern here is add 4 to the preceding term. Okay, nagdadagdag tayo ng, ng apat. Therefore, our common difference here is 4. Okay, 4, our common difference. Then substitute 5 plus 30 minus 1 is 29 times 4. Okay, that is 5 plus, multiply natin ang 29 times 4, there is 36, 4 times 2 is 8, 11. 116 plus 5, therefore our A sub 30 is 5 plus 116. A sub 30 is 121. Therefore, the 38th term of this sequence is 121. Okay, now, how about this next condition? Okay, we have 4. Find the 100th term of the following sequence. Okay, number 1, we have two examples of arithmetic sequence. Okay, number 1, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. At number 2, 4, 10, 16, 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, and 34. Okay, sa so given number 1, ano gagawin natin? Okay, i-apply na natin ngayon ang ating formula, yung general formula. A sub n equals A sub 1 times the quantity of n minus 1 times common difference. Okay, A sub, ano ang kinukuha natin? 100 term. Therefore, A sub 100 equals our A sub 1, yung first term natin, which is 2, plus our n, that is 100. 100 minus 1 copy 1 is from the given general formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times common difference okay now here the value of our d or common difference is okay what is the pattern we're going to add 3 therefore common difference is 3 okay a sub 100 okay that is a sub 100 equals 2 plus 100 minus 1 is 99 times 3 
A sub 100 I equals 2 plus 99 times 3, 27, 297. 297, A sub 100, A sub 100 equals 2 plus 297 is 299. Therefore, the value of A sub 100 or the 100 term of this sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 is 299. Okay, given number 2, 4, 10, 16, 22, 28, 34. Okay, first, Write the general formula a sub n equals a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 common difference. a sub, since our target here is to determine the value of 100 term, a sub 100 equals our a sub 1 here is 4 plus the quantity of our n value is 100 minus 1. Common difference here is the pattern is odd 6. Okay, therefore, the common difference is 6. A sub 100 is 4 plus 100 minus 1 is 99 times 6. Okay, so in this rule natin, multiply muna natin bago tayo mag -add. 99 times 6 is, okay, we have 54, 54, that is 50. 54 plus 5 that is 59. Okay, we have A sub 100 is 4 plus 594 that is 598. Okay, now therefore the value of 100 term of this sequence 4, 10, 16, 22, 20, 34 is 598. Okay, paano naman ang ganitong condition? Okay, number 5. Find the first 5 terms of the given sequence given the n term. Okay, meron tayong dalawang example. Okay, number 1. A sub n equals n plus 4. At number 2. A sub n equals 2n minus 1. Okay, focus muna tayo sa number 1. Okay, A sub n equals n plus 4. Pwede kang gumawa dyan ng table. Okay, magsasubstitute ka kasi ng value ng n para makuha mo ang hinahanap mo. Okay, tinan natin. Okay, ito yung ating value ng n. We have, ito yung ating table. Okay. Okay, sa ating first table, we're going to write the value of n. And for the second row, we have okay, this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay. If n is 1, what is the value of your a sub 1? If n is 2, what is the value of your a sub 2? If n is 3, what is the value of your a sub 3? And so on. Okay, let's substitute. Okay, a sub n, if the value of n is 1, okay, if the value of n is 1, we have a sub n equals n plus 4. Let's start with n equals 1. a sub 1 equals 1 plus 4. a sub 1 is 5. Therefore, the value of a sub 1 is 5. If the value of your n is 1, the value of your a sub 1 is 5. Okay, next we have this one, 2. Okay, if n is 2, 2, 2 plus 4, that is 6. If n is 3, what's the value of a sub, a sub 3? 3 plus 4 is 7. And, and so on, we have 4. 4, the value of your n is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 5, 5, your n value is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, meaning to say, as we can see, from the given pattern or sequence, we have consecutive numbers. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Your first term is 5, second term is 6, third term is 7, fourth term is 8, and your fifth term is 9. Okay, now therefore the sequence will become this one. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9.
and this is your first five turns of the given end turn. Okay, next, number two, we have, okay, gawa ko rin tayo ng table. Okay. A sub N, we have N, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, if your N value is 1, 1, A sub N equals 2, N minus 1, A sub 1 equals 2, times 1 minus 1, a sub 1 equals 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1. A sub 1 is 1. Okay? 1. Okay, 2. Your n is 2, but will be the value of your second term. 2 times 2, 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. How about 3? 2 times 3, 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. How about this 1? 2 times 4, 8. Minus 1 is 7. 2 times 5, your n is 5, that is 10 minus 1 is 9. Therefore, the first 5 terms of this pattern or formula is, you are going to write this one, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. This is your first 5 terms of the given n term.